Hey everyone and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. In this video we're going to be looking at the Prusa Slicer feature, Fuzzy Skin. How you can apply it to your models and what it will do for your prints. Let's have a look. You might have noticed a feature in Prusa Slicer called Fuzzy Skin, which can be applied to a whole print, a specific model, or just a modified area of a model in a print, but you're not sure what it does. Well, Fuzzy Skin basically applies a randomization to the exterior perimeter of the modified area. So if you were to apply Fuzzy Skin to a whole cube, that cube is then going to become rough on the exterior perimeter. It randomizes the points which it jumps to as it extrudes the exterior perimeter and creates this rough textured effect. There's a few settings that you can adjust to change how severe it is and what the final look will be like. So we're going to look through the settings now. We'll do a few prints and then we can look at what the effect is of changing these different settings. Let's have a look in the printer slicer. There are many ways that you can apply fuzzy skin to a print. The first being applying it to everything on your build plate. So for that, you just go up to print settings and then on layers and perimeters, which is the first tab, it's at the bottom, fuzzy skin. And if you set this to anything other than none, it's going to apply fuzzy skin to everything on your build plate. The next way is if you were to right click on a model, you can go to add settings and then fuzzy skin. Here you're going to open up a menu Tick all three of these. This is applying the settings and the options you need to that model. And then now it's applied fuzzy skin to this specific model. So if you had multiple models on your bed, this is only applying fuzzy skin to the one that you've right clicked and added it to. So if we select fuzzy skin now, we've got the options down here in the bottom right. The first is currently set to none, which is off. This is basically where you want to apply the fuzzy skin. So you've got none is off, outside walls is your outer perimeters, and then all walls. So the only reason you would really want to set all walls is if you're printing a model where the interior is visible from the outside once it's been printed. We're just gonna go with outside walls for now. The next option is point distance. So the way fuzzy skin works is when your printer is printing your perimeter, it has a path that it's following. It is the tool path and Let's say you had a perimeter of a cube. It was going from here to here to here to here and back to here again. That is its toolpath. The fuzzy skin works by it creating deviations along this toolpath. So if we came along here and we had a deviation, it jumps out there and then it's back on the path again. It's coming along here, it jumps out there and then it's back along the path again and so on. The point distance is how often along that toolpath it creates a deviation. So the bigger the number, the smoother your object is gonna be because there are fewer points of deviation on there. The skin thickness is how far it's allowed to deviate from that original point. So again, if it's drawing a line along here, uh, if it was a small, uh, if you'd set a small thickness, it would come along and then it would bounce out to here and then go back again. If it was big, you could come along here and then it would jump out here and then back again. So the smaller the number here, the smoother it will be, and the bigger the number, the thicker or rougher your fuzzy skin will be. So the last way to apply fuzzy skin, if I remove this, is to apply it as a modifier. So if you don't fully understand modifiers, I've created a tutorial specifically on them in Prusa Slicer. I'll link to it below. But um, quite simply, if you right click on your model and then go to add modifier, and then let's go with a box, you can move this box around, you can resize it, rota uh, rotate it and sh uh, shape it around. And um, you can then apply settings such as fuzzy skin to this box. And then what that means is whatever features you have set on this box are going to apply to this model in the area that is within that box. So if we were to put it here, for example, it's only going to apply fuzzy skin to that area of its tail that is within this box. So what I'm gonna do is have a look at what some of these settings actually mean. So I'm going to print six Kelly Dragons and I'm going to apply fuzzy skin to each of them with different settings and then we can see how that comes out. And here are our six Kelly Dragons. So five of these, I have applied modifiers so half of them have fuzzy skin 
the right hand side of them all have fuzzy skin. And then this one here, I have used spherical modifiers to just apply fuzzy skin to the area of the model with the scales on. So we'll print all this out and then we'll have a look at how they come out and how the settings have affected the aesthetics. Here's an overview of the different settings I used and their results. I'll be looking at some of the specifics in more detail in a second. So of my half and half designs, this is probably one of my favorite ones. This is a 0.8 millimeters in the point distance and 0.1 millimeters in thickness. So what that basically means is that there is a sort of medium amount of roughness of deviation, but the actual deviation isn't too severe. So it isn't becoming too different from the original design. Um, and obviously you can see it standing out there one half compared to the other, but it doesn't look really weird. It just looks rough, which is what the effect is supposed to look like. Uh, let's have a look at some of the others. So this has the biggest figure on point deviation at 1.2 millimeters, uh, but the thickness is 0.3 millimeters. So it's sort of a mid range on thickness. Uh, it's definitely thicker than the default of 0.1 millimeters, uh, but the um, points deviation of 1.2 millimeters means that it should maintain more of the detail, but where it deviates, it can go to 0.3 millimeters out from its original point, which means that it can look quite rough and scruffy at the same time. And here is my more style design. This is the one where I've applied the fuzzy skin specifically just to the scaled area on the back and sides of the Kali Dragon. So a good point that you can see that is different here along this line you can see where that has come out. And when you have applied it to a specific area of your print, uh, it really does seem to stand out and add more detail to the print rather than obviously my other examples are just showing the difference with and without it. Uh, I think that worked quite cool. I like it. Well, I hope that's filled you in on what fuzzy skin is and hopefully you've now got some ideas of how to make your prints even more interesting using it. If you do have any fun ideas, pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much.